I am teacher Himwami. I am here <clears throat> to give you a lesson on our award which is my community friends. It has been a very long time since we saw each other and we are trying to make ways during this situation to communicate and to go through our lessons. Before we begin, we're going to have a prayer and then we will sing our Eagle Beaver song. Shall we pray? Thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you for everything that you do for us. Thank you for the gift of family and friends. Be with us as we go through this lesson. In Jesus' name, amen. Today's award is my community friends and I'm sure you're wondering what is a community? A uh, community is a group of people who share something in common. A community can be where you live, where you go to school and even church. Your friends at church, your family in the home, your friends at school, that is a community. But I'd like us to focus on the community at church. Each and every friend that you like, that you hang out with, that you have fun with, that you play with, that person is part of your community. The friends of your friends are part of the community. And how do you survive in a community? You check up on each other. You play with each other and you pray for each other. During this time of coronavirus, we are all at home and... You don't really play with your friends. Yes, you have your siblings, your brothers and your sisters, but you are not playing with your friends. I'm here to share with you on how you can communicate with your friends and check on them and see if they're okay. It's a simple step. So you ask your mommy or your daddy, say, can I get my phone or their phone? And say, I want to talk to my friend. You have many different options. You can call them. You can video call them or you can send them a message. A simple message to say, I'm thinking about you. Are you okay? How are you holding up? How are you doing? You set a date on when you can play together. There are so many things that you can do. But the task is you have to communicate with your friend. That is what's important because you are thinking about that person and that person is thinking about you. So on our task today, as will be shown on the screen, is you drawing a line from start to finish. As you can see, there's a beaver at the top and a beaver at the end. You are the one who's starting it and your friend is the one who's finishing and he's the one or she is the one that is receiving that letter. That letter is reassurance. And in that, you pick five people that you want to pray for, that you want to communicate with. Just five. Five friends, five people from your community that you want to talk to. Make sure that you pray for them, you check on them, and you see how they're doing. We have many examples of communities in the Bible. And the simplest one that comes to mind is Abraham and his family. That was a community. 
he moved from the place that he was, as God told him, to go and set up elsewhere and be a father of many nations. He started a community and we are part of that community. In each and everything we do, you remember that you have a friend who wants you, a friend who needs to talk to you, a friend that you want to play with. And what do you do? Simply check on that friend. So this award helps you remember what? One, to check on your friend. Two, to call your friend. Three, to let them know that you will be there for them and that you love them. And four, to pray for them. I want you to remember these things. And for the task that I gave you, I want you to get them to me by Wednesday. Tell your parents when you have finished your work that they should send them to me or any directors in the club and we'll be waiting to see. The person that can also add the five people that they are praying for and checking on will get a gift from us teachers. So don't forget, I'll be waiting for those answers. Thank you for watching. We will see you in our next lesson. From teacher Himwami and the other teachers, goodbye.